night, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here. <coughs> Under the singing birds and the blue skies and the, I don't know, it feels like maybe 78 degrees. Sunny day here, uh, Saturday, May 9th, 2020. And so anyway, uh, just winding down here for the foreseeable future at Collapse Chronicles uh, the next couple of days. And so you know, guys, I could not resist it. I, yes, I, I, I admit, uh, it, I, I, I cannot resist one final Corona panic uh, story before I before I uh, disappear because tomorrow, you know, I'm gonna be shutting down shop with my interview with my a swan song interview till further notice with, uh, with uh, uh, Bill Gady, who's gonna be talking about, uh, you know, what Mad Max is going to look like uh, here in the very near future uh, when people start starving. Uh, what, 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 obviously, what it's going to look like, and so there's no better place to go uh, to look for this than a Venezuelan prison in a coronavirus Corona panic lockdown. Uh, what <laughs> what's going on in this Venezuelan prison? Whether it's from Corona panic or the next one that comes down, where uh, people are no longer uh, able to get money and whatnot to get food. What's it going to look like when people get hungry? And here is uh, a very good uh, peek into Mad Max. <clears throat> Anarchy in Venezuela's jails laid bare by massacre over food. Yes. Three weeks before he was shot dead, Miguel Calderon, an inmate in the lawless Los Llanos jail, on Venezuela's central plains sent a voice message to his father. We live among the shit and the trash. The 26-year-old former soldier convicted of stealing a car said in the message, uh, like many of the prisoners in Venezuela's overcrowded and violent penitentiaries, Los Llanos says 4,000 inmates normally subsist on food their relatives bring them, but authorities banned visits to, to the prison due to the corona panic quarantine imposed in March. The prison guards, desperate themselves, amid national shortages began stealing the little food still getting behind bars, inmates said, forcing prisoners to turn to eating stray animals. You know, stray animals, it's what kind of stray animals are running around a prison? I guess, I guess they're mostly talking rats, maybe some alley cats, uh, I'm guessing mostly rats. Gee, what a surprise. Uh, when people no longer have access to food, for whatever reason, what do you think they're going to turn to? Uh, however it plays out, they are going to start eating uh, their fellow earthlings. Uh, by May 1st, Calderon and other convicts could bear it no longer. Around midday, they crowded around the jail's entrance, demanding change, and some, uh, and some attempted to escape. Uh, blah, blah, blah. A contingent of National Guard soldiers 
guarding the perimeter, open fire, hitting scores of inmates, they said. Calderon was among them. By the day's end, 47 prisoners had died and 75 more were injured. Uh, the latest in a history of massacres in Venezuelan jails. Uh, two people in jail at the time questioned by Reuters said soldiers executed several of the wounded on the ground. Uh, yes. Uh, the local National Guard in a statement on the day said the penitentiary's director had been stabbed uh, while attempting to speak at the entrance with the inmates and when they attempted to flee they were shot down. Um, good Lord. Uh, here, deadly riots are common in Venezuela's teeming prisons where crime groups hold control often with penitentiary authors authorize consent but this delicate balance of power is being destabilized by the corona panic uh, a severe shortage of gasoline has compounded the quarantine's restriction curtailing Venezuela's already limited food supply. Nowhere have the food shortages been felt more severely than in prisons, home to an estimated 50,000 inmates, with the government barely able to pay its own workers or to secure imports for subsidized food, the welfare of prisoners has slipped uh, even further down the agenda. Uh, do you think so? Uh, Calderon described to his father how at one point he saw a cat's head rolling on the ground and a group of, quote, happy prisoners who had found and eaten the animal. Yes, quote, this is madness, Dad, he said. Yes. Uh... The jail, one of the jail's gang leaders known as Olivio said officers are, quote, provoking inmates with the new restrictions. Quote, they, meaning the guards, have stolen food, the food that our families sacrificed to send us, Olivo said. Uh, yep, uh, Calderon was hoping to receive food. Uh, the two people with him at the time later uh, said, uh, Anywho, I think we get it. Uh, good Lord, this is describing the massacre. Uh, Guards left Calderon's rake-thin body, dressed only in underpants, on the ground outside the prison alongside the other corpses as blood pooled around them. Do you think so? Uh, yes. According to one of these... Uh, social justice organizations down there, quote, the government is not interested in letting the truth behind the massacre come out. Do you think so? Uh, anyway, guys, <clears throat> anybody who does not understand what a Venezuelan pr 
prison riot over food. Uh, it, 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 if you don't understand why this is not a snapshot to Mad Max, I guess you'll just have to wait a few more years. But Bill Gady will uh, talk to us more about that tomorrow. So uh, I've got to wrap up, which should be my last Corona Panic. Uh, Chronicle, although Bill and I talk a lot about the Corona Panic tomorrow in our interview, obviously. And I'm going to come back at you with uh, one of those collapse chronicles about wet bulb temperatures coming up in one minute. Bye, guys. <laughs>